What is up everybody on YouTube, Ginger Game here, back with the next episode in my series on We Happy Few. Now in today's episode we are going to be breaking into the Camp of the Head Boys and continuing our journey through the Garden District. And um, yeah, as before, I'm only going to be commentating at the start the end, so I'm just going to jump straight into the video. Sally would have loved this if we could never get in here. I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight in the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I could write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. But we'll leave you there to starve. Good thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the least for one. That's cheery. Hey, some guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's gonna come on strong with that left pipe. You're gonna wanna block that. Try. Whoa! Whoa! Try, Shannon. 
Shop is gone. I've got a signal. Oh god, this on. Oh god. it loose. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a Motelin dispenser. That chap with the boots. Now that I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet, like. I definitely don't want a crowd. <gasps> this won't take a minute. <gasps> Sorry to bother. Hey, you don't live here. No one 
saw me hide. I bet I could stay here forever. At least until I starved to death. You're not the bloody hell for you! So get out! You're not a ghost! You're rubbish at hide and seek, aren't you? Well, it's for knocking down my blocks in kindergarten. There we go. I can find a power cell right there. Motiline, the pure resublimated dimotiline. The fuel of the future now. Go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals, and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. Well, I think that's everything I had when they jumped me. If I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes. It's not you, it's me. Now we see the violence inherent in the system. district was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. Apparently it's just got its own rules. I better figure out what the other ones are.
It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here, over here. You want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! Have you been sleeping all right? Sometimes you just have to eat rotten things. That's life, isn't it? My suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. And they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm re a safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. See. I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in a tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you. Arthur. I love you too. Oedipus didn't know what he was doing. I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us.
What a waste of time. It could be worse, I think. I don't know how you feel. Watch out for the ones with the plague. They look sick, but then they suddenly become... Didn't we go to school together? Dogs? Miss Bing's class. Sometimes I hear horsemen at night. It's the fog, isn't it? How are you holding up? Stay out of the fog. A water pump. Nice. There's a few more in the garden district, aren't there? This ought to be pretty clean, unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. Bloody hell, I've forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. Oh dear. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. This is where we hang them, isn't it? They broke into the police station, tried to burn the register so the Germans wouldn't know which kids to take. We didn't want the Germans to be angry, did we? We were so scared, or maybe just so tired, so we hanged them to encourage the others. I wonder if we'd made the Germans take the kids by force instead of bringing them down to the station singing London Bridge if things would be different now. <gasps> I hope that's the worst thing I remember. Says the chap heading to the train station. Oh, what lovely memories are waiting for me there. At least I can get on the train tracks there and get the hell out of town. Now I just need to find the train station. Where are the Russians? I want to be able to see it from a distance. This too shall pass, I suppose. At least there are flowers out here. Watch out for the light. Odd. Why are there cables coming out of that painting? Why does that bookshelf look like it doesn't quite fit? I think it needs power. Where can I turn on the power? Was that door?
here from any other hatch without anyone trying to kill me. When is Uncle Henry coming back? I don't know. But we surrendered. We did. Look, Dad won't talk about it. Maybe they drafted him. Can they do that? Who's going to stop them? I can't hear you. The Germans can do whatever they want until someone stops them. The Russians, for example. So why... So... So, so when is he... So when is he coming back? No, Percy, I don't know. The Germans, they don't explain things. They just give orders. Why? Well, because... Because I don't know why. I'm sort of worried that you might have... volunteered. I don't understand. It's probably for the best. At least we have our memories, right? Tune in again tomorrow for more cheery answers to your questions about your life. Did we say cook us a plate of shite-tasting grub? No. We told you fucking meat and potatoes-tasting food, you stupid bitch. My God, they've kidnapped some poor woman. I could be a real hero and rescue her, or get myself killed. Just lie down. What the fuck was that? This won't hurt a bit. It's better this. 
this way. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Come back any time, I'll make you something fantastic! My savior! Here, I've been cooking. Taste this. What you think? Yummy, isn't it? I ought to drop by someday when I'm in the neighborhood. Stew would be nice, even if it is made out of fungus and leaves. Been a while, hasn't it? Stay away from the ones of the plague. And here we are. Not quite as grand as it used to be. Of course, there hasn't been a train since the germs left. Still, the tracks go from here all the way to the bridge, and then across the river, and then all over Britain. I wonder if... What are we going to do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your boar bags. I'll piss in your corpses. We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! You're done hoarding all the bee meat. Jesus Christ, I haven't been in here since. Yeah. Uh, Why don't we just, just not relax? Here? Don't question it. We just made them take the kids, instead of us bringing them here, singing London Bloody Bridge. You shut the fuck up! We're here for food, not nostalgia. How do I get down to the tracks? Have another bomb, do we? That's how I get down. Right. Huh. 
Now I'll just have to find the tracks and walk on out of Wellington Wells. I'm so sorry, Percy. I should have got on the train with you, like I promised. The rule was if a kid was a day over 13, what could I do? You could have kept your mouth shut, Arthur, and not told them you were 13. That's what you could have done. Too old to go to Germany, are you not? Please, no! You can't take care of yourself! Bloody Bobby. I told him I wanted to board even if I was ten days too old, but we don't make the rules anymore, Mr. Hastings. I shouldn't have told him they got my birthday wrong. Don't even know why I did. Should have just kept quiet and got on the train. Bloody hell, there's been some sort of cave-in. So much for walking down the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. What the fuck do I do now? Oh, look, it's life. a little lost lamb. Where's Bo Peep? In your curtsy way, I bet. <laughs> That's little Miss Muppet, you Muppet. Uh, uh, can we pound him now? Yep.
have we come to? Bloody hell. That's Ollie. Ollie! Come for me, have you? Ollie? I'm Arthur! You won't get me! You won't get me, you bastard! Ollie! I... No! It's Arthur! Bloody murdering wastrels! Have you gone mental? I'll save you, Margaret! I'm your old neighbour, Artie! Always lying! Little Artie! Artie's gone! They took him away! Ollie, no! They You're didn't! You're lying! You're a wastrel! Ollie, it's Arthur! Well, why didn't you see that before? Oh my god, Artie. Little Artie. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Watch your mouth, laddie. What would your mum think? I thought they took you away. No. They had my birthday wrong. What? Sorry? No, of course not. No, you've got it all wrong. That was Jack turned you in and I what tried to save you. Right. I remember now. You came back. From the station. The only one. <laughs> you don't think they hurt him? Percy. The Germans aren't animals, you know. They just wanted to make sure we stay quiet. And we did. Spot of tea? Uh, that's very kind of you. I I'm not thirsty. That's right, Margaret. We have to run after water. <laughs> I have to find him. Any idea where he might be after all these years? Not really. I know I have to get out of Wellington Wells. I, th I thought I could take the train tracks to the bridge. Aye. The only way to the Britannia Bridge is the train station and the parade. And good luck getting into the parade. You could stay here. Remember when you and Sally used to stay with me? When the... It's young Artie. Meg, you remember Artie, don't you? No room at the inn for young Artie? No. You're right. You're always right. Sorry. Margaret says it's best if I keep to myself. Oh. Sorry to bother. But... Margaret thinks we could help each other. Really? Uh, brilliant! There's a warehouse. In the old German camp, we could burgle it. The Victory Memorial Camp? Where all those home army chaps run around practicing stabbing people with bayonets? What, what do you want me to do there? Run around yelling, here I am, shoot me, while you go in under the wire? There's uh, a thing I need from their warehouse. If you help me, I'll get you out of Wellington Wells. I just need you to turn off the power in the camp. And this isn't going to get me killed. Don't be a great girl's blouse. I'll meet you at the bunker after dark. Don't worry about the sentries on the bridge. I'll make sure they get a good night's sleep. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Shall I just show myself out then? Ollie? I don't actually know the way out, you know. That's Margaret. From school. Margaret... What's her name? She was supposed to go on the train, but then she disappeared and no one would talk about it.
So, yeah. That's what we're going to leave this episode today, guys. We've just met up with our old friend, Ollie Starkey. Um, we're going to go take on the veterans at the Victory Memorial Camp in the next episode. And hopefully, Ollie can help us out. Maybe we can get out of the Garden District by next episode. Anyway, as always, like, comment and subscribe so you can stay up to date with the next episode of this series. Hopefully, it'll be coming again soon within the next week. And I will see you in the next one.